it is a pretty quiet start to the day across eastern Iowa, and we are likely going to have a not so quiet finish to the week as an active pattern unfolds. We do have some fog out there this morning. That's lowered visibility in a few spots also has led to some uh, freezing fog or rime that's been occurring on the trees that could also potentially translate to the streets. So you may see some of the ice coating the, the trees. It means that there could also be some slick roads. So you just want to take it easy because we also have some spots where we do have some low visibility zero in old wine one mile in Dubuque two miles in Cedar Rapids. Haven't seen any signs of issues on on the main roads and highways, but some side streets that maybe haven't been treated recently may have a few slick spots on them. We do have a pretty cold start to the morning too. three in New Hampton, eight in Tama, a little colder out west where there's been some clearing that's happened. 10 in Old Wine, 17 Cedar Rapids, 16 in Washington and Monticello, and it feels even colder because there's a breeze out there leading to wind chills down around zero. We do have outside of the fog some clearer skies that are happening out there, so that will lead us to some sunshine today, which will certainly be nice. We'll have kind of a mix of sun and cloud situation as the fog clears and we head into the late morning and early afternoon. Temperatures will rise into the 20s to near 30 degrees and it will be breezy. We are going to have winds picking up around 20, 25 miles per hour with winds coming in out of the south and west. And that's with a little cold front that's going to pass through as we head into this afternoon. So that's going to switch the winds more out of the west later today and tonight. Clouds take back over the skies tonight. Stick with us through the day on Tuesday. We're then going to be watching a storm system passing down to our south on Wednesday, but there is the possibility we could see some snow showers on the northwestern side and parts of the area leading to some minor accumulation. There's still some differences in the data in terms of how much snow falls and exactly where if it ends up closer to Highway 20 or down closer to Highway 30, but it's certainly possible we could have some flurries or light snow showers to Highway 20. I think the higher chances are going to be down to the south. We could pretend, potentially see a couple of, or an inch or two perhaps of accumulation, but the higher chances in general are going to be well to the southeast of the state of Iowa. We will have that one system come through Wednesday. A little clipper could pass through on Thursday. We then will have another cold front on Friday. You see where I'm getting with this? We got an active pattern that's going to unfold here and several chances that we could see some more snow as we head through the week and we're going to be watching for a stronger storm system over the weekend and we cannot determine where exactly it's going to be yet. This could end up further north or south, but we are going to have much colder air coming into the picture here as we head into the end of January and early February and you get the cold air in place. That's step one. Step two just takes a couple of systems to come through and the snow starts to pile up. We are going to be quiet to start the week though. We'll have some sunshine today once the fog clears clouds back in the skies tomorrow. Temperatures around 30 to start the week. Chance for some snow in the southeast Wednesday some flurries Thursday and elevated chances for snow Friday and Saturday with some much colder air and below normal temperatures moving into the picture over the weekend.